Hey everybody, welcome back to the second episode of Pikmin 3 for Wii U. And right now, we have a ton of Pikmin to pluck, so let's do this. Now, I switched to a Wii Remote Nunchuck because my gamepad controls are a little bit messed up. So I need to have that fixed, but uh, for now we're just going to try to manage with the Wii Remote Nunchuck. Anyways, you can aim with the Motion Plus, so shouldn't be too bad. So I'm just trying to figure out the controls here. Um, B is whistle. Okay, I think I can figure this out. Alright, we do have 21 Pikmin, and I now think that we can move this box, so let's send all these guys out here. Every single one of them. Oh, yeah. One guy's just standing there. He's like, <laughs> messing around. Alright. Oh, it looks like there's a data file there. What's that? Let's go find out. It looks like someone's left a data file here. Perhaps the cop pad will be able to read it. I love that word, cop pad. There's a little hop. All right, look at the Wii U gamepad. The onion is like a nest for the Pikmin. It both gives birth to them and provides them a shelter. Excellent, the cop pad can read the data file. So these creatures are called Pikmin? Okay, apparently they are. This information might come in handy later. I'll save it in the Copad's exploration notes. Sounds like a good idea. And it is installing. Okay, the Wii U gamepad, yep. Exploration notes, all right, sweet. I don't think Captain Charlie wrote this data file, so who did? Could there be other intelligent life forms on this planet? All right. So, is there any way to access the cope pad? No. I'll just have to look at my gamepad. Oh, whoops. I'll have to look at the gamepad when I uh, want to see that. But okay, we're in this new area here. And, uh. According to the radar, the Drake should be through here. Alright, let's keep exploring. If we come across any enemies, I think we're ready to attack. We got a squad of 21 Pikmin. Alright, more mushrooms. Wow, those are massive. They don't look edible. Just like the ones that uh, Captain Charlie found. Whoops, no. Come here. Alright. So it looks like a... Who built this wall here? More no signs of intelligent life? Can we bust this open? I think we can. Yeah, wreck them! Yeah! Destruction. Okay. All right, nice job, guys. My crew could learn a lot from this kind of teamwork. Burn. I hope the Drake is okay. Now let's see what's on the other side. We are getting closer and closer on the map. You probably can't see, but, uh, oh, there it is. There it is. The SS Drake. Finally, we have a chance of getting home. Uh, the Copet isn't picking up any signs of life in the immediate area. Uh-oh, look at these little eyebrows. <laughs> What am I supposed to do now? Alright. Is it picking up something? Some kind of signal? Oh, it's receiving a call. Incoming transmission. Who could it be? Elf. It's me, Brittany. Do you copy? That is Brittany right there. Thank goodness you're with the SS Drake. Right? I made it through the landing in one piece. The thing is, I'm trapped somewhere. And I'm starved. Uh-oh. It's not looking good. Oh no, we got cut off. I wonder how far away Brittany is. But at the very least, I'm thankful that she appears to be safe and sound. Oh, it looks like it's getting darker. That's when the monsters come out. What's that strange sound? The sun is setting, which could mean that nocturnal predators are starting to wake up. I should probably get off the planet's surface for now. Alright, teleport in. Let's get the heck out of here. Looks like we're taking off. Alright. 
Oh, the onion's coming with me. The little onion bulb thingy that the Pikmin are in. Or that's where their uh, sprouts pop out. Alright, so it looks like uh, that little onion guy will or orbit around this planet with me. Most of the supplies we brought from us from Kopai were destroyed in the crash landing. So we now only have three days worth of edible provisions left. So that's the thing, guys. We need to find enough food to survive us each day, or last us each day. So we, if we uh, run out of food, we starve. We have to go back to a different day. So you have to be careful. All right, we only have two days worth left of uh, food left. So uh, we gotta find some food tomorrow. Starting to, tomorrow, I have to find some local food. Yep. Day one. All right, we can see our stats. All right, nice. So uh, today we found the, we lost one food. We found the SS Drake. We had, we got 21 Pikmin and uh, we only have one crew member so far. So uh, now, I'm just gonna continue. And this might be a shorter episode today guys because um, I'm just gonna do the episodes in days, and the first episode was, I mean, longer because of the starting of the episode. Okay, it looks like we're not done yet. We're shipwrecked on this planet. Some of the creatures called Pikmin helped me find the SS Drake, but our cosmic drive key is nowhere to be found. We won't be going anywhere without that. Luckily, I made contact with Brittany, you know. Set out to find her tomorrow. When I took off in the ship, the onion took flight as well. Odd, but amazing. Alf. All right, thank you everybody so much for watching this awesome episode of Pikmin 3. I hope you enjoy and have a great day.